Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Louis, right? The guy who was present the very night that King Vaughn was fatally shot and killed, he, he was there with him. Um, He did an interview with DJ UTV recently, right? Now, not only was Louis there, but Louis was one of the guys who was shot also after allegedly exchanging gunfire with the police the night everything went down, right? Not just shot, but was shot in the head and actually survived. And you know, matter of fact, now that I think about it, it's kind of weird that um, it's been alleged, we're going to say alleged, those that know, if you know, you know, but it's been alleged that he got into a shootout with the police and, you know, nothing happened to him. Like, usually, no matter, even if you got shot or whatever the case may be, if you was exchanging fire with the police, you know, they'll lock you up for having a legal firearm or, or you know, shooting at police, whatever the case may be. But that's another story. Let's stay on track. Now, um... DJ, you brought up the tragic night and asked Louis what really happened, pretty much. Because aside from whatever a blogger say or YouTube or even us, you know, Louis was actually there. So at this point, his word is way more credible than anybody's word that speak on the situation. You know, so DJ, you asked what made King Vaughn walk up to Quando Rondo and just start punching on him. Um, Louis explains that Vaughn is going to be who Vaughn is going to be, you know. If you know Vaughn, you know that pretty much once his mind is made up, there's no stopping Vaughn. You already said publicly what he was going to do to Quando Rondo if he ever saw him. So we did just that. You know, so now everyone's in the comments saying things like, see, it was Vaughn's fault. He's hard headed. It was his pride. He the one that initiated the fight. He died because he was trying to be tough. It was all because of Vaughn, Vaughn, Vaughn. Right. But, but. But guess why that excuse is still not valid? Because if Vaughn was never woken up, Vaughn would have never did what he did in the first place. Ah, see, that's the part everyone seems to forget. And that's the part that people are leaving out. I guess everyone has amnesia because Honey K Track, who was Vaughn's manager at the time and was also there that night. Rushed to do that interview right after Vaughn died, and he said out his own mouth that Vaughn wasn't himself that night. You know? And he added that Vaughn was asleep in the car. So someone woke Vaughn up and told him that Quando Rondo was in front of the lounge, and that's when Vaughn jumped up and got out the car, and the rest is history. So, the million dollar question that we still don't even know the answer to is who woke King Vaughn up? You know, why is that such a secret? Why nobody's saying who woke King Vaughn up? Because if they're making it seem like Vaughn is so hard-headed and once his mind is made up, it's made, why would someone knowing who Vaughn is go and wake him up to let it be known that his ops is outside? You know, as a real friend, why would you put someone who's the breadwinner and who's your quote-unquote friend at so much risk knowing he has so much to lose it's not making sense king vaughn didn't even want to go to the hookah lounge they said you know they say he wanted to go home we've heard that and i could believe that you know he just came from doing a walkthrough from a different spot and wanted to go home so do y'all really think that vaughn cared about going to a hookah lounge where he wasn't getting paid to be there or nothing just to be there especially after already coming from a spot, it, it, it don't make sense. Not to mention, King Vaughn was still battling that case he caught with um, Lil Durk. 
and um yeah, Lil Dirk, Bezu, and um Hella Bands. So make it make sense. You mean to tell me knowing that King Vaughn was already fighting an attempted murder charge and all that other stuff, one of his quote unquote friends decided to wake him up and tell him that his ops is outside, knowing the kind of trouble that he could get into, being that he's already on an angle monitor and all that, right? What type of friend are you? That don't sound like a friend to me. A real friend would say, you know what? Quan Ronald's there. I know how King Vaughn is. Listen, yo, take Vaughn home and we'll meet y'all there. Or you go and take Vaughn home. He don't need to be there. But no, instead, the friend woke him up. And because of that friend, Vaughn isn't here. Does that make sense to y'all? Now, if I was that friend, it'll eat me up inside every day to know that my friend isn't here today because of me. His kids don't have a father because of me. His mother no longer has a son because of me. No longer a brother, cousin, uncle, all because of me. You see what I'm saying? It's Like I said, the story is not making sense and a lot of people are leaving things out. Um, I think the million dollar question in this whole situation is who woke Fawn up? For some reason, it's being like kept a secret. Nobody's talking about it. They're all hiding it. Somebody knows something. But once again, that has not came out unless it's just a lie. You know, unless it was all a plan to begin with. But once again, that's another story. Let's continue right here, right? Let's talk about the case in itself. Why is it taking so long to prosecute Lil Tim when there's no, I mean, when there's visual evidence of what transpired? <laughs> Why is it taking so long? He's either guilty or he's not. Why haven't we heard a word about the case? Why is it a big secret? We literally watch social media follow every inch of that Tory and Megan trial. Why haven't we had not one update about King Vaughn's murder? And it's been years. We're now in 2023. That situation happened in 2020. You know, especially with it being captured on footage for the world to see, you would think that they will hurry up and try to, you know, make the case go away because at the end of the day, we've seen it. What more do you need to discuss? He's either guilty or he's not. You know, wouldn't you think it's a big deal? Lil Tim ran around and even bragged about the killing after being released. So did Quando Rondo. Y'all remember when they had, you know, uh, the dicky suits in the out uh, in the video. You know, these guys making songs, taunting. Quando Rondo, Lil Tim, NBA young boy. You see what I'm saying? So what's going on? Or are we going to witness another Lil Dirk incident where we don't hear nothing about the case and then boom, <laughs> suddenly all the charges drop. You know, now we did a bunch of videos explaining that night and things that didn't make sense, right? Y'all go search the channel and, you know, look for it. I just found this clip of Louis saying that um, King Vaughn pretty much is King Vaughn and he's going to be who he's going to be. I found it interesting because I see people in the comments pushing a narrative that Vaughn pretty much was killed because he started something. You know? One thing we know about social media, it's easy for people to get distracted away from the truth because all you need is a few people to push a lie and then everyone's believing it. You know, not to be confused, I'm not saying that Louis is lying. I just want people to see a point from all angles before they go jumping the gun and making conclusions off of half truth. You know, yes, King Vaughn initiated the fight, but if he was never woken up to do so, Maybe he'll still be with us here today. You see what I'm saying? So, um, that's pretty much it, man. I just want to let y'all know that. Um, y'all can check out the the whole Louis interview on DJ UTV. Shout out to him and everything he got going on. It is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments. Let us know how you feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.